Hello, I'm Pamela Lutze. I'm co-chair of this year's AHA Epi Lifestyle 2022 conference. Hello, I'm Marie-France Hubert, and I'm co-chair for the uh, AHA Epi Lifestyle conference this year. It was wonderful to have everybody back in person. I think we all uh, were sharing the same sentiment of being so happy to meet with our colleagues and share our science, and as usual, be present at the uh, session and at the poster session to to exchange and, and really have uh, a great connection with our colleagues. Yes, and the programming, I think, was impactful as well. Absolutely. I've heard so many good comments about uh, the content of the science that was presented uh, during uh, this uh, AHA Epi Lifestyle. Our opening session this year focused on the topic of climate change and green heart health. Yes, and we had two outstanding keynote speakers. Um, Dr. Wajakampalan did an outstanding job at uh, explaining how air pollution in, uh, has an impact on overall cardiovascular health, uh, both from a so societal point of view all the way to mechanisms. Uh, and uh, then Dr. Gardner uh, reminded us how um, food sustainability uh, is important, both on the planetary perspective, but also on uh, heart healthy uh, perspective and that deliciousness of food uh, and plant forwards are, are uh, two important terms that we should be using more and more to talk about food that are uh, both uh, heart, heart healthy and heart friendly. <laughs> Um, the ASPC debate took place this year as well and was another highlight of the meeting. And this year's debate focused on pharmacotherapy in kids. Is it worth the risk? It's an important issue thinking about, um, you know, long-term risks these children might take from pharmacotherapy, balancing long-term risks from, for instance, obesity, which was a focus of the debate. Claudia Fox argued the pro point of view and Laura Heyman the con. And... It's a controversial topic. You know, key points, I think, were that we need to do what we can to move the curve and prevent kids from getting obese in the first place. But then in the instances of extreme obesity, the debate rages on in terms of what the best options are. You know, obviously lifestyle needs to be at the foundation, but to supplement that, um, you know, pharmacotherapy or bariatric surgery in some instances. Yeah, and I really thought Dr. Fox highlighted a, a very important uh, um, point that uh, for, for the kids who are at that highest part of the curve um, based on uh, weight or other cardiovascular disease, the, the pharmacotherapy um, also helps families to understand that this is a biologic condition, that excess weight is not just something they should be ashamed of and be blamed for and but really that uh, with the help of those pharmacotherapy especially the more recent one we can help the biologic drivers uh and and then and then encourage the healthy lifestyle absolutely and we also had some really exciting new programming at this year's meeting we had roundtables that were immensely successful um I think it was a great opportunity for uh, more um, advanced and early uh, investigators as well as students to sit down and face-to-face -face with each other and, and, and exchange about the topic that they care about or that they want to expand. Uh, and and I, I had really, really good experience myself being at the table, but also good feedback from everyone who participated. Another new thing we did this year was we had a session highlighting recent AHA statements. And, you know, these documents are of such tremendous importance to our field. And so I think it was fantastic for the attendees to hear directly from, you know, lead authors. One of the uh, uh, statements that uh, spe especially, like, speak to my heart was uh, the one about uh, physical activity uh, across transition through the life course. And the, that there's so many moments where... Um, uh, people in their life tends to de decline in their physical activity, uh, but taking taking those moments as opportunity to to maybe intervene or encourage uh, our our uh, patients and population to to stay active. 
Yeah. And, you know, throughout the meeting, there was just, I, I think, resounding excitement and enthusiasm and gratitude just to be able to be back in person and connect with colleagues. I know for me, it was just invigorating to be here, to see the posters, to see the oral sessions and, you know, interact. Yes, I, I had the exact same uh, feedback from, from uh, many, many attendees, just really enjoying the pleasure to exchange about science and, and have the opportunity to reconnect with our colleagues. We're grateful to our attendees for coming and we hope to see you again next year. Yes, we are very much looking forward to next year and uh, we hope we will be all in person once again.